Leo. La 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 Leo. La 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 Leo. La 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 Leo. La la la. What's up, babies? What's up, Leo gang? Gang, 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 gang. What's up, babies? Last but never least, okay? I had to do this because I had to meditate on y'all energy more. So I wanted to do it two days ago. I don't know what the hell broke loose two days ago. Um, I, I, I got to look at the astrology stuff because usually I'm on that, but Mocha been going through her own shit. This retrograde been shaking it up. And it's a way I need to shake it for my life, all right? So this is for my sun, moon, rise, and Venus, as well as the cross watchers of la 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 You understand? But... Um, from the 6th to the 15th of August, I'm sorry, I am tardy to the party, y'all understand about being tardy to the party, every Leo I know be late to shit, it's not all y'all, but some of y'all do, you get there when you want to, so here we go, shit, I, look, it's mutual, I love y'all to death, but I'm still your sister fire sign, you know, we rebels by law, so, we do what we like, fuck what people talking about, alright, so, Leo, the energy that I feel from y'all is definitely rebirth, I keep seeing a butterfly coming out of a cocoon, literally like that being reborn literally and it's funny because i pulled the death and rebirth card for y'all uh from the mother guy in tarot deck i feel like a lot of the lessons that you've gone through you know you've learned from them a lot of y'all are coming out of that place of holding resentment and really in a very grounded and forgiving place okay a lot of y'all possibly have friends old family members people who you want to talk to that may be reaching out to or maybe they're reaching out to you right now and instead of handling them with a long handle spoon and kind of like watch out a little bit. Y'all are really loving during this time. Y'all are really accepting during this time. And it's doing hella, hella justice to your growth, okay? As well as your path to ascension, all right? So this is what I have for my Leo. This is, of course, this is not personal. It is general, okay? So if you need a personal reading, that information can be found in the description. Keep in mind, y'all still got a $40 special for y'all birthday. Happy birthday, Leos. Y'all still have a $40 special up until the 25th of August um, for $40 30 minute readings, okay? Whether it's same day or not, I'm going to look out for you. Um, As far as I try to get you in the same day because that's a way to really take advantage of the special that saves you twenty five dollars um or ten if you have to get scheduled the next day. But either way, we rocking, okay? Let's get it, Leos. All right, so the first message I got from you came from the Crystal Angels Oracle Cards from Doreen Virtue. It's called Tanzanite. It says ready to love again. You heal from your past enough to open your heart to new love. Yeah, y'all definitely had a healing energy on y'all all the way. All right. Ready to love again. This card signifies that your heart is healed enough from past grief over a loss for you to allow another relationship into your life. You've been understandably guarded, weary and being hurt again, and you took necessary time for healing. Now you feel ready and once more to love. You are guided to be gentle with yourself and ease back into your love life. Begin with meeting and dating people through trustworthy sources such as your religious or spiritual community or your close friends. Avoid scenes that feature alcohol and drug abuse. Notice red flag warnings about someone's character. Take your time and remember the old song, You Can't Hurry Love. As you know, I remember, you can't have your love, no, you just have to wait. That song. As you patiently and prayerfully wait for the right person. This card can also be a sign of your readiness to adopt a new pet after grieving the loss of a beloved animal companion. Pets do return to us from the heaven in a new form, and they know how to, uh, to find us for a reunion. Funny part about it is that with that, I have the death and rebirth card. So some of y'all, I do feel some form of reincarnation coming for y'all. If you've lost a child, I, you know, people are subject of, sensitive about certain subjects, but Leo, you have a child that you've lost returning back to you, okay? Congratulations. It's a blessing, baby. <laughs> he works. The most high works in mysterious ways. I didn't even think. Thank you to all my new subscribers, y'all. Welcome to the family, okay? To all my new uh, old subscribers. Hey, boo. Hey, y'all know I cuss. I shouldn't have to give that memo, but we rocking, okay? I love y'all very much. Thank you for the comments, the likes, the shares. Y'all, thank you for it. I'm so appreciative, all right? But yeah, some of y'all... um have maybe a well I'm not maybe I'm definitely feeling strong emphasis on the family situation some of y'all possibly could be single mothers maybe you've been 
raising your babies by yourself or raising your baby by yourself, maybe for the last eight years, eight months. Okay, some of y'all could be eight months pregnant, okay, and you had, had pregnancy, and maybe you weren't talking to the child's father, okay, and it's kind of been your wish before my baby gets here. I want the, me and the father to be getting along, okay? I really want for things to be prosperous. I really want to grow. I want my family, okay? But some of y'all was a stubborn move, okay? Somebody was being very freaking stubborn. Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with a Scorpio as well, um, as well as the Sagittarius involved in this. But I feel like some of y'all are needing to be truthful, okay, or have the truth revealed, and it will be between the, the now and the 15th of August. Some of y'all, it's been your wish, okay? And during this last new moon, baby, your wish was granted through the universe, through the ethers, baby. The ethers heard you. During this Leo season, a lot of y'all coming through, busting through the gates in a new, passionate way. Some of y'all have definitely healed your heart. Your heart chakra for a lot of y'all is on fire, literally, okay? Some of y'all are very passionate about a fire sign. This Sagittarius to be exact, and you just want to move forward. You've grounded yourself. Some of y'all could also be dealing with the Taurus or the Capricorn, but you've grounded yourself. You're ready to love again. You're ready to move forward. You're ready to move past the Past. Some of y'all have had a death in the old way that you look at things, okay, and a rebirth as far as perspective, as well as stepping outside of yourself, okay? Um, stepping outside of yourself and looking into your situation from like a third party standpoint, okay, or looking at both of your point, point of views to be able to not only be heard, but hear the other person, not only, not just hear that person, but feel that person to be felt, you understand, or maybe this is you, some of y'all have been hanging in the situation, possibly due to children, okay, and maybe that situation wasn't working out, okay, but now you really wanted to get your family together, you want family is everything to Leo, that's why y'all were willing to stick in there and put in the work, okay, but it's after a period of definitely hurt, a lot of y'all have turned y'all pain into power, okay, during this time, you learn, you're learning to turn your pain into power. You learn from those tumultuous situations, chaotic situations, these lower situations from your past in order to move forward in the upright way and know how to carry and handle yourself accordingly. And that will be shown during this time. Show and prove, my darling, okay? Because y'all are going through the balancing of the heaven and earth. Of have between heaven and earth, y'all are fixed energy, okay? So God is moving for y'all and through y'all in a whole other way. And it's spiritually designed for y'all to bring the beauty to things. A lot of y'all could be dealing with a tourist right now um, or Capricorn. But y'all are definitely going to be birthing something. For some of y'all, y'all are definitely going to be uh, receiving new job offers. Your money is going to be looking nice. Business owners, so you're going to be doing great deals. Um, also, some of y'all are also birthing a child. Or well, if you already have children, Seeing your family situation be nurtured in a whole new way, y'all, it's making me want to cry. I feel so so much reunion-like energy, and it's beautiful. All right, Spirit, please give me the messages between now and the 1st and 15th of August for my sun, moon, my day, as well as the signs of Leo. Yeah, some of y'all are going to be receiving communication from a Gemini Libra Aquarius, someone who you have a child with, okay? After moving forward passionately and focusing on your money, this person is going to come out of nowhere, and they're going to want to get come out of a cycle and go into another cycle. Some of y'all are missing an Aries, okay? Um, some of y'all are going to receive truth and clarity, possibly uh, from a Taurus or uh, from a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, okay? A fellow fire sign like yourself. Some of y'all are... Um, Moving forward with an air sign peacefully after some form of betrayal, okay, or some form of disloyalty, okay. Some of y'all are returning back to the one that you feel that got away, okay. Some of y'all moving forward passionately, you moving forward, you focus on your money, but there's a water sign, baby, that y'all really, really, really want. And this person, it's hard for you to let them go. You have the, it's for some of y'all, there you go, it's definitely a Scorpio, okay? You want things to work out in this relationship. You don't want to move forward from this person. You don't want, but some of y'all, you're hanging in there and in the midst of this tumultuous cycle, you're being patient with this person. For some of y'all, you're walking away from a Pisces during this time, okay? But for some of y'all, you're just being patient with this person because you want your Ten of Cups. You want your Ten of Pentacles after getting over this damn Ten of Swords energy, all right? Spirit, please clarify. Yeah, some of y'all are just going to be truthful about yourself, Leo. This is you speaking speaking about your passions, being truthful to yourself, speaking very clearly, possibly towards the air sign. Look, it's you that I want. Even after a period of deception, I'm willing to look forward. I'm willing to move forward. I feel from that. I, I apologize. I accept your apology. Let's move forward because I understand that people change and we can make this beautiful again. Some of y'all have an air sign coming towards you that you're very passionate about. This person is very passionate about you, but maybe in the past, 
and we're dealing with each other. It was just a headache. Some of y'all had a bunch of fucking drama or just burning some situations around this person. Some of y'all are going to flourish very beautifully when moving forward in your family situation after a period of deception. Possibly somebody could have been denying a child I'm seeing, okay? But that information, truth and clarity is coming forward with that and it's going to bring change to that single life for you. If this person is going to move forward or you're going to want to move, you're going to want to move forward. Some of y'all is definitely someone that you have a child with, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? Someone who you possibly been fighting with in the past, but you want to move forward with a new start with this person. For some of y'all, it's a water sign. Scorpio, Pisces is on the board, all right? Some of y'all are coming out of a tumultuous cycle into a beautiful cycle, possibly with a fire sign or this water sign here. For some of y'all, it is a Libra. Yeah, buddy. Some of y'all are going through the justice system, and then going through the justice system is definitely going to be in your favor, okay? For those of you who are going to support for child support, divorces, things of that nature, okay? Some of y'all, um, well, all of y'all are going to be very successful with that, all right? Truth and clarity is also coming through the court system. That's going to move and shift the family dynamic in a whole other way during this time, all right? I also see this temperance card here. Some of y'all are trying to hang in there with the Pisces. You love this person. You're being patient with this person. But I feel like with this person, maybe in the past has been a form of deception. This person is going to bring some truth and clarity to you. You maybe to this person that you want to move forward with the Aries. Some of y'all will just want to move forward, take a leap of faith, going back to the past, and be real with yourself, okay? But some of y'all, y'all definitely want to move forward towards an Aries, or there's truth and clarity that needs to be given to an Aries, okay? And you have kind of been sitting still and not really making a decision. You've kind of been practicing this patience. Some of y'all been practicing in the mirror. I see somebody practicing in the mirror. Because because you really want to turn around the situation and bring the beauty back to you. You have the magician coming out, okay? Because someone in your past you're very passionate about. Maybe it could be a Capricorn. It could be someone that's a soulmate to you. Maybe you feel tied to this person. Maybe our relationship was codependent in the past, okay? Uh, but you feel like, I love you. You're my damn soulmate. For some of y'all, you had a toxic situation with a Sagittarius. But some of y'all finna cut. Some of y'all finna release yourself from this stagnant energy and move forward. You're going to make a damn decision and communicate with someone, okay, that, hey, I want to work it out. This towel moment that y'all going to have is well needed. You're going to have a shake up with somebody before it can be beautiful. Again, but it's well needed, Leo. So some of y'all, you want to work on it with this, with the Scorpio. You want to move past your situation, past what it is that you've gone through, because this person is definitely your soulmate. For some of y'all, you have children with this person, and you want to be married. And for some of y'all, if it's a Taurus, you're gonna get your way because they also feel the same way, my babies. You're gonna get this Ten of Pentacles, this Ten of Cups, baby. After this Ten of Swords, honey, we're moving into all tens. We're completing cycles. We have the Wheel of Fortune here. We're going out of some dumb shit to some beautiful shit. From the dumb dumb to the new new. Okay? Leos, this is beautiful. You are ready to love again. Congratulations, baby. You had to come out of the dark side of this journey. Okay? Possibly with the father figure. Okay? All right? Possibly you're dealing with some father. This could be your father. Okay? This could be the kid, the father of your child. You could be the father. Okay? But you had to come. You had to go through the darkness in order to make a free will choice in order to choose. Like, it was destined for you to make that move. Okay? It was destined for this situation to happen because it was going to build you into your best self. You str you strong. You see that motherfucker fire? That's the phoenix, baby. You trying to you 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 ready to take off and take flight like the phoenix? It's your world. What you want to do, baby? Do what you gotta do, because it is time. It's destiny. I love y'all. This what I have for y'all for the month of August. I will see y'all mid month on time. Okay.